evening. Good evening. Um, we were discussing earlier whether to introduce what we're going to do, but I think we decided not to. So we're just going to head straight into it. Just to let you know, it is a material that's um, composed entirely out of a document that's available and online for free, a massive, massive document. Maybe there are hints that uh, will tell you what this is about. It's called The Afterworld. Hallways, a residential suite of rooms, storage rooms, utility rooms, recording studios, public restrooms, event concert halls, a bedroom not associated with the residential suite that is upstairs from the event concert halls, mixed use rooms, parking garage, and a tunnel located under the event concert halls several raised platforms in the event concert halls with decorative skirting made from cloth. Nelson was lying on the floor. He could not feel a pulse. He could not feel a pulse. Nelson was lying on the floor. Emails sent months after he died, telling him how much she missed him and asked him to send her a sign. Nelson became emotional and began to drive to Minneapolis. Nelson became emotional and began to drive to Minneapolis clockwise around the building. South on the main door, past the offices on the east side of the building, into the main performance area. Up a set of stairs on the southwest corner of the building, into a large room with a bed and a nightstand. On the nightstand, which was to the left of the bed, an open bag of Hall's cough drops and a lipstick tube. He took a red eye plane to Minnesota. He was lying on the floor for 2,000 hours. He was lying on the floor for 2,000 hours. He took a red eye plane to Minnesota. A violent person identified a bitch who helped provide celebrities whatever they wanted, led to a defamation lawsuit. Retracting her comments, stating they were false, they subsequently apologized. <coughs> Nelson still believed he was warm, but could not detect a pulse. Nelson still believed he was warm, but could not detect a pulse. The only reason we observed him, his position was not the position. He noticed a black colored glove which appeared to be a jacket. It was lying in the hallway and for that reason he did not touch it. A box of rubber gloves, a jewelry box, a number of pills without a prescription bottle, a white pill on the floor, in a fold of the bedding. Whoever slept entered and left from the west side an Apple laptop on the dresser, a charger cord. He was suffering from anxiety and dehydration. Nelson was lying about using drugs. Nelson was lying. Nelson was lying. He was suffering from anxiety and dehydration. Two suppositories, 11 individual pills. Five pills with the number 54411. Six pills, Mylan 457. A website called drugs.com identified suboxone, buprenorphine, sublingual, lorazepam. Nelson was fully clothed, slightly leaning to the left. He was Inches away from the elevator door, Nelson fully clothed, leaning away. Inches 
away from the elevator door. They explained there was no data past the end date for the account. They acknowledged a preservation request, but stated there was no data prior to that date, implying the data had been deleted. They confirmed the account was deleted and explained that they are sometimes able to preserve some of the data after an account is deleted. However, by the time they received the preservation letter, the deleted data had already been removed from their servers. Nelson was lying on the floor. He could not feel a pulse. He could not feel a pulse. Nelson was lying on the floor. <laughs>